Hello, my friends. It is great to see you again. This is Michael with the Wupnik channel, your favorite channel. Today I'm talking about this MacBook here. It is a MacBook Pro model A1502, mid-2014. This MacBook is about six years old and it looks still pretty decent. Just the hard drive in this laptop is pretty small, only 128 gigabytes. And in order to bring it to today's standards, we have to put something bigger in. But can we do that? Can we put another hard drive into this computer, a bigger hard drive? That's a big question here. To open up my MacBook Pro here, I need a, uh, a T5 a Torx 5 screwdriver. So let's take out the screws. Lots of screws. That's it. I took out all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screw. There's number ten. I did not take out number ten. So now I took them all out. Very easy to open. Yeah, you literally just lift it up. Here it is. Put it at the side. And now you see the inside of this MacBook Pro. Looks like still in a very good condition, not much dust. And there's another thing which I cannot see is there is no hard drive. Well, this MacBook Pro has already an SSD built in. It is an Apple SSD. And now you think, well, that's easy now. I just buy a num another M.2 SSD stick and uh, put it in here and you have more storage space. Wrong. Very, very wrong. This connector here is not a standard M.2 connector. Of course, it is a special Apple connector not compatible with M.2 at all. Just to show you the difference, I found here a picture for you guys. So here is my iPad. Here you can see this here and this here are M.2 SSDs, whereas this here is the Apple SSD. You see from the physical form factor totally different and an M2 at least without an adapter will not fit into uh, the Apple slot. You can take out the SSD here again with uh, taking out uh, the uh, T5 screw. You need a T5 screwdriver to do that. Yeah, you just take it out and now the tip went. So take it out and then carefully lift it up, wiggle it a little bit and there it is. Yep, I show you here, here is an M.2 uh, SSD strip and I'm putting here the Apple version. As you can see, I will try to show it to you. As you can see, it has nothing to do with one of today's standard M.2 uh, SSD strips. Nothing. Physically, totally different. I'm now reconnecting the SSD. 
Come on, be careful. Just push it a little bit until it doesn't go anymore. This is now. And please don't forget to screw down to fasten the uh, Apple SSD. Now it's secured. So, where can you get uh, such an Apple SSD? I don't know. Yeah, I found some of these on uh, on eBay, used of course from other people who have upgraded uh, their uh, laptops, but directly from Apple, no. Which means basically, when you have here a 128 gigabyte SSD or 256 gigabyte SSD, I think it is futile to look for a 512 gigabytes or even a 1 terabyte Apple SSD. I don't think they even exist. Which means on the other hand, we cannot upgrade the hard drive on, uh, on this Apple MacBook Pro, well, not hard drive, the SSD, we have to live with what we have. Yep, it is, uh, it is very disappointing, but this is Apple. When you buy an Apple product, you have to be very clear right from the start how much storage space you need, how much RAM you need, because today in, in the modern Apple computers, mostly the storage and the RAM is sorted directly onto the motherboard, therefore not removable and or replaceable. Yep, what can I do? As you have seen, we can remove the SSD. Yes, we can. Uh, we could put in another SSD with a different size, but where to get it? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, eBay would be a source. Um, I don't know if Apple is still selling these SSDs, but as you guys know, Apple is uh, charging you an arm and a leg for their original products. Um, that basically means this is still a great looking computer. It is uh, not more than six years old. It's an i5, so it is still middle of the road but um, to replace the SSD here is only recommended when the SSD is broken. Get another SSD then from somewhere and replace a broken SSD. But to upgrade it to a bigger one, to spend a lot of money uh, to upgrade to a bigger one, I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, it can cost hundreds of dollars to upgrade the machine here with a new SSD. Um, is it worth it? No, really not. Apple computers are aging much faster than Windows computers. So a six-year-old uh, Apple computer is actually much older than its years. So. At least now you have seen how to do it. Are you in the position that you have to replace uh, the SSD here and you are in the lucky uh, position that you have another one of these Apple SSDs? Hey, good for you. Then just follow my guide here, my video guide, how to replace it. Uh, but just upgrading it because you want more storage space. Uh, nah, it's not worth it. And please don't forget, because this computer does not have any more a mechanical hard drive, putting in here another SSD means no performance boost at all. Yeah, it's it is already fast, or at least six years ago, it, w it was pretty fast and uh, yeah, just don't do it. But if you have to, now you know what you have to do. All right, my friends, I'm signing off now. That's it for today. I have to uh, button up here this lovely MacBook Pro. Um, I like it, very clean designed, but 
everything is apple standard and please don't forget to like my video and while you're at it please also subscribe to my channel should you have any questions ask me questions in the comment section <coughs> sorry and i will answer okay well this is michael with the Wupnik channel and i will now close down here my little studio and hopefully i will see you again in one of my next videos okay please look out for my next video come on back to my channel and subscribe i really need it that's it well this is michael with the Wupnik channel have a great afternoon bye bye